and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, our title <laughs> is Extreme Hip Pain Gone Instantly. Boy, that's... That's asking a lot, Brad. Right. That's a, that's a mouthful, and we're going to get into it, and it's a relatively simple uh, treatment, if you will. But before yeah. we go on... If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on Stay Healthy, Fit, Pain Free, and we upload every day. Also, you're going to want to get, get in on this. Uh, we, you would join our social media channels, and we're always doing a giveaway. And today, we're giving away something really cool. Um, go to bobandbrad.com, giveaway section, or go to Bob and Brad, uh, pinned to the top of the page on Facebook. Facebook. It's also in our description below. But right today, what we're giving away is the Renfo Foot Massager. So this thing is really, this, this device is really cool. So you can stick your feet in these. Brad's going to demonstrate here. Well, I'm not, my hands are, I'm not going to put my feet in there. Yeah, and it's got different settings that will give, you know, compression and it'll also kind of roll on the bottom of your foot. Right, it's got little massage balls yeah. in there. And to me, like, the, the the highest setting is just barely tolerable. Um, some younger people probably think, well, think, no, oh, that's perfect. Right. But so it's got something for everybody. So um, our, our patients love it. What so, about the hip, Bob? Oh, let's, let's get to the hip now. I'm <laughs> okay. hip, I'm hip. So extreme hip pain, uh, you know, we've dealt, Bob and I have dealt with, hip pain well personally myself but with patients i've had it myself time. too sure um so and gonna, i did some of these brad by okay, the way yeah this is uh, something we do in the clinic on a regular basis for some of the hip pain now we're going to look at the hip first here we got sam, sam and if we look at the hip joint here we have the so the ball in the socket uh we don't have metal pieces in there at least most of us don't hopefully no, okay. but there is some connective tissue in the capsule and a number of other uh uh, soft tissues. That's what the brown represents. Right. What we call the capsule. It's this tough ligamentous stuff that helps hold the, the hip in place. Exactly. Uh, so there's potential there for that to get pinched. Yes. Uh, there's other tissues in there. I'm not going to go through them all that, that could get pinched in the hip that can cause severe pain. Also, and most commonly, it's arthritis. Right. Or the labrum part of it can break off. There you go. Yeah. Right. That's so. another part of the cartilage in there. Uh, but what we're going to do now, if the hip pain is consistently with weight bearing, when you walk, when you put weight through the joint, which is very common, uh, if we can, oh, can you see that, Liz? Can we zoom in? Uh, excellent work. So again, now, we have the ball, and then we have it in the socket. So what I'm going to do, if it's with weight bearing, that means weight's going through the femur, pushing it, the ball into the socket, which is normal. But if there's pain associated with that. Oftentimes, if they go the opposite direction and pull and separate it, that can relieve the pain instantly. And that's where we got the title from because you do that and the person says, oh, my goodness, that feels better. You're on to something and you're going to work with that. That's a sign of what's going on a little bit, too. Right. Like, there's something right. in the joint itself that's, that's giving you trouble. So. so, and I mentioned this is relatively easy. And to do this, we're going to, Liz volunteered to be our. our yeah, our, two of them, I would say two of them are easy. One of them is you'd probably need a therapist. Yeah, or probably a, for the clinic. But to do. We'll show you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we'll of that. show it to you anyway. You bet. We'll give you the whole schmear. All right, we're going to switch places. Okay, now I would expect you'll see the camera shaking and everything else <laughs> going on with Bob Bacter, but just be patient. That's everything right. Everything will work out. A rookie. I already shook it. Okay, now Liz isn't mic'd up, so she, she may talk, but you may not hear. It's not that we don't want to hear, but uh, for this purpose, this is okay. Are you ready, Bob? I'm ready. All let's right. let's roll okay, it. Okay, so you know, with the person laying down, you could do it on the floor. It's kind of hard. On a bed, it works as the best place, just like this. Liz will be completely relaxed. Her right hip is the one with pain when she walks on it, goes up and down steps because she gets that sharp pain. Simply what you're going to do is have the person relax and grab the ankle. And what I'll, I'll just kind of wiggle the leg a little bit to make they're sure they're relaxed and not tense. And then gently pull this direction so we're putting traction on it. So, and I'll do this and say, how does that feel with a little pressure? I mean, just a little bit. And if the person says, oh, that's, that feels kind of good, then I'll pull a little bit more. And if that feels better, I'm never going to get to the point where I'm pulling aggressively. Uh, 
I, I, guess, Brad, I, I want to make sure that people know, too, you would never do this with a total hip replacement. Right, yeah. right. This is uh, uh, someone, you wouldn't have arthritis in a total hip, so I, yeah, if it's a total hip, it's time to go to the doctor. Right, and right. And get the orthopedic surgeon to look at it. They'll probably take x-rays and whatnot. So I'll do that. Sometimes I'll, I'll pull on it, but it really won't respond well. So then I'll take the toes or the, and the leg and internally rotate it slightly, just a little bit, not going to twist hard, just a little bit till it stops, and then I'll pull again and see how it responds there. And then I may go the other direction, because sometimes one direction, either inward or outward, can make a big difference on the reduction yes, it in can, pain. It can repro repro um, reproduce. Oh, no, take away the pain is yeah. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Abolish it, Bob. Abolish, Abolish it. it. How's that word? And if none of those work, then I'll do this, and I'll abduct or go out to the side a little bit, and then I'll put a little traction on it. And also I can rotate outward or inward gently, and all this is gentle. You do not need to pull hard. If it's going to work, it's going to work really well, and the person will say, oh, that feels good. And then I've done it where I've just held people there for 30 seconds until I get too tired, and then I'll relax, and it can be real beneficial. If that works and the person's time to go home and they don't have anybody at home that can repro you know, reproduce the tr treatment, sure. I'll have the person, why don't you get up, Liz? If they have a stairway or a stool at home, now, Liz, we're going to say it's her left hip for so you can see it. Yep. Liz, I want you to stand here with your sore leg. You're going to stand up on your step and hold on to the braille. Or here we got the booyah stick just because it's, it's here and it works well. And really relax this leg, okay? And once you get it to relax, that's the traction. The weight of your leg is the traction, like me pulling. And then you're going to swing it forward and backwards gently. This is like the pendulum exercise for the shoulders, almost identical. Now, you can put an ankle weight on if it feels better. And that's what Liz has in place that's right there. That's what this there. orange is. Now, a lot of people don't have an ankle weight, but if you happen to live in a northern climate like we do, you can just put a pair of winter boots on. <laughs> they weigh about a pound or two. Or steel toe boots if someone has some steel toe boots. Uh, anything gets some weight. And the idea is to relax that leg and just swing it forward and backwards. There you go. How does that feel, Liz? She says it's incredible. So Liz, Liz could have Wesley uh, hang on at the leg there. So and she's got a little three-year-old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, yeah. You know how they hold okay. on to your legs when you try to walk? Now, we did mention there was going to be a third way, uh, but probably for the therapist to do. And it works best, uh, you know, on a plinth that's the right height. And if you have an adjustable one, it works better. But we'll show you one of our tricks. So why don't you bring that knee up? And actually, when I was in PT school, this is one of the first treatments I did on a real patient. She had severe arthritis in her hip. She was young. She was like 40 years old. Brad, and you probably want to use a towel, too. Yeah, we've got it right here. Don't yeah. worry, Bob. All right. You had me worried there. So he's putting the towel around his waist and around Liz's thigh. Okay. And so Liz is going to put the towel where it belongs. So we got around her femur, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold her knee and bring this up to 90 degrees and she's relaxed, you feel comfortable? This is kind of hard to see, but it's around my waist and I'm gonna push outwards with my waist while I stabilize her knee. And that's gonna put traction instead of in the sagittal plane, it's gonna go in a lateral plane or abduct it. And can you feel that, Liz? Does that feel good? Yeah. See, thumbs up. This this does typically feel good, whether you got a good hip or a bad hip, because we're just gently stretching it. And I'll I'll stretch this way. I may hold it as long as it feels good. If the person says, "Oh, that feels good," I'll hold it. Usually as long as I can, which is you know 30 seconds a minute, and then I'll need a little break and move. Sometimes I may go to this angle or straight, and I'll work whichever works good. Sometimes. I'll move it gently if it feels good so we get some motion. Now, we mentioned if there's a pinched uh, tissue in there, the capsule might be pinched in there. If we can get it out of there and unpinched and we can move it so it stays out, then you'll, you're successful and you'll be able to walk around and you'll, you know, as a therapist, you feel like, oh, and the patient loves you because you just cured their extremely sore hip. So this doesn't work on all the hips, of course, uh, but it's easy to do, especially the traction and the standing, uh, and there's no negative uh, effects to it. So yeah, I was actually able to do this to myself. I took a belt and I put it around a stable object. Uh -huh. It was actually a weight bench. Oh, really? And then I just, I 
scooted myself away from it. Oh, and okay. I, yeah, and it actually took away my hip pain. I, I was having troubles in Excellent. it. Excellent. Yeah, so. I, I'd like to see a video of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, that's a lot more technical. I, I, I wouldn't expect people to, to try that right. one. Uh, you, I mean, you could mention it to a trainer or a therapist right. and, and see if Someone they could. a little experience in right, right. the so. anatomy and working with people. So I don't know, Bob, if this has anything to do with, you know. No, we can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. What do you say, Liz? Yeah, there, she's showing the heart. All right.